A family wants answers, and they've been waiting since 1979 to learn who murdered Mana Yulaberry. Her body was found in the Jordan River, and for four decades, it's become a cold case. For every crime, there's a story, and the truth matters. Here's ABC4 senior crime and punishment correspondent Marcos Ortiz with tonight's Justice Files. Mana Yulaberry was known by family and friends as Heather. She disappeared one night in 1979, and her body was later found floating along the Jordan River. Four decades later, her murder remains unsolved. She never came home. She left work early to go get her car fixed, which was in the repair shop, and uh, that's the last time my mom seen her. Mana Heather Yulabari lives in Salt Lake City's west side. It's 1979, and the 24-year-old moves about freely. She likes shooting pool at taverns on the west side and enjoys drinking beer with friends. On April 17th of 1979, Yulabari disappears, and the family is worried. Mom said it's not. She would have contacted me that day or the next morning, she said, and said she wasn't coming home. And my mother was saying that there was something wrong, and she called the police. A few days later, police searched the Jordan River after there's a report of a possible body floating in the water. Police later identify the body. It's Eula Bari. Police say her body's been in the river for at least four days. It's been caught in some branches, preventing it from floating down river. At the time, the cause of her death remains a mystery. Later, police get a much clearer picture once they get the report on Yulabari's autopsy. The Utah Cold Case Coalition is now investigating Yulabari's 1979 disappearance and murder. So the cause of death, they said, was asphyxiation, which, um, and they also said that she was killed before she was thrown in the river. She was also raped, and she had some several bruises on her body. Also, the same day her body's recovered from the Jordan River, police also find a burned out Volkswagen similar to this one on Jeremy Street in Salt Lake City. It belongs to Eula Bari. Somebody that was responsible for her death also burned out the interior of Mona's car, and the suspicion for that would be is that they were probably trying to burn away any evidence that would link them to her death. It was devastating, obviously. Then. When we realized that they weren't doing anything from the whole time she was missing, we started uh, that uh, started giving us information. Yulabari's friend tells the family she goes to socialize at Billy O's Tavern. It's the last anyone sees or hears from her. I am upset. I'm angry that they haven't followed up on her case. Wednesday night in part two of Yulabari's unsolved murder, a woman from her past comes out after all these years, and why police and family have suspects in mind. For the Justice Files, Marcus Ortiz, ABC4 News.